G'day and welcome to Aussie Golf Pros. Today we're bringing you one of our favourite putting drills to really help you sharpen up your short putts. The beauty of this drill is it incorporates random practice or creative practice if you, if you prefer, as well as a competitive aspect. And that's really important to make your practice most effective. Most putting practice that we see is ineffectual, uh, there's no real structure to it. So what we're going to do here is, uh, as a clock face drill, we're going to have 20 putts, all from different spots around a hole on the practice green. We're going to hit four putts from three foot, then we're going to go to four foot, five foot, six foot, and seven foot. So we're going to have 20 different putts. It has to be on a little bit of slope, so we've got 20 different breaks as well. So we're hitting some uphill, some right to left, some left to right, and some downhill putts. And this is a challenge. We're, we're talking about you know, trying to hole as many putts out of 20 as we can. And realistically, even the tour pros from six foot are going to miss around about 40% of the time. So let's head to the practice green and see how we do. Let's start with the toughest one, which I think is this one because I've got to put across my shadow. Downhill right to left. Downhill left to right. Uphill left to right. And uphill right to left. So it's important to do this drill on a bit of a slope so you've got all the different putts. Okay, so they're the easy ones, the three footers, now to the four footers. Notice I go through my little routine, just one practice stroke, pick my target point each time. And this is much a practice of routine as it is of holding short putts. Snuck in the side door, that one, it's in. All right, that's the four footers. Now it gets tougher, the five footers. The tees are at four and six feet, so saves a bit of time setting up. Ah, too high. Good stroke, but just aim too high. Okay, what are we up to? 11 out of 12. Now the six footers. And what you'll notice is the length of stroke is definitely a lot shorter for my downhill putts than it is for my uphill putts. I try to keep the tempo the same and change the length of the stroke based on how much power I want to hit into the putt. So, I aimed too high last time from five feet. I aimed the same spot there and worked out quite well for the six footer. I was happy to get that one. Downhill left to right. We're on bent grass greens here running at about 11 on the stint meter. So uh, they're pretty quick those downhill ones. Well, I'm really happy to do that to get all four six footers. Must admit, I don't do that very often. So last round, the seven footers. Downhill right to left are quite a swing. So my aim point, this is really key, my aim point is different each time and that's the beauty of this drill. So I had to aim for the six footer a cup outside of right lip. For the seven footer it's just going to be a little bit more than that. So cup and a quarter. Let's see if I can get it right. And obviously you've got to get the speed right as well. I'm going a bit more. I think I'm going to go a cup and a half. Ah, I was right the first time. Maybe a little hard too. It's gone too far past. Disappointing. Right, let's see if I can get this one. 
Hit it well. That's low. Ah! I don't think I gave that enough. It was good speed, just didn't give it enough brake. Well, that's a tie, 17 out of 20. <laughs> Had a chance there to get 18. Missed the uphill left to right, one of my favorite parts. That's disappointing. But you know, it's a huge confidence boost for me to get 17 out of 20, time my best on a pretty slopey putt. So really happy with that. This is a great drill for sharpening up those short putts, uh, those braking putts. Well, there you go. Another 17 out of 20 for me. It's, it's still my best and I'm going to keep cracking at it until I can hopefully improve on that and maybe even one day get 20 out of 20. Uh, no doubt the really top putters in the, in the past have, have you know, succeeded and got all of their putts. I know that, that Greg Norman used to do something similar and I've heard of him getting 25 in a row from, from six foot around the hole, but he was uh, pretty special with that putter. Now the really important thing here is that you don't have another go at that drill, that routine. Not until tomorrow the next day. The whole important part of this is that it's a competitive aspect. We're recreating that game atmosphere and out on the golf course you do not get a second chance. So if you miss a putt, you forget about it, you move on to the next one. You don't get to re-go, you don't have to retry it and we don't get a second go at this drill until tomorrow. And that's the really important aspect of it. Remember this is competitive practice. Now the other thing that I really want you to do is record that. Put it in your phone, in your notebook, record your score. And we've got lots of other drills and games that we use, not just for putting, short game, long game, mid game. We can always uh, introduce that competitive aspect so that we can really make our practice more effective. So good luck with this drill. Why don't you post your, your score in the comments below? I'd love to see someone out there beat 17 out of 20 or even get 20 out of 20. Are you the best golfer you can be?